you're facing a lot of tough questions, not only as a candidate, but as a U.S. senator, big issues in the world. One of them right now is Iran, escalating tensions. Would you support military intervention? Uh, not at this time. Uh, I think that if the president was at all serious about that, you always leave everything on the table, but if he was serious about that, he has to come before Congress for an authorization of military force uh, instead of relying on the past authorization of military force, which goes way back to 9-11 and involved al-Qaeda, um, which isn't an issue here. So that would be my first response to that. My second uh, is that we didn't have to be where we are today with the news this morning that uh, 17 people, uh, Iran claims, uh, that they have arrested and that they're going to put to death for what they claim, claim, are CIA con uh, connections or the fact that a British tanker uh, was, uh, the crew was taken hostage. Um, we wouldn't have to be there if he had simply stayed in the Iranian nuclear agreement. For so long, our uh, major, one of our major focuses of U.S. foreign policy was to make sure that Iran didn't get a nuclear weapon. That's why we reached that agreement. It may not have been perfect, uh, but it was something that needed to be done to make sure that we achieved that goal and kept people safe. Uh, instead, he decided uh, to leave basically our European allies holding the bag, gave leverage to China and Russia, got out of the agreement, and claimed that he was going to make us safer and that he would get a better deal. Instead, where are we now? Uh, 17 people allegedly arrested, a crew taken hostage, uh, and as we speak, uh, Iran blowing the caps uh, when it comes to uranium enrichment. So uh, what would I do? I would work to renegotiate ourselves back into that agreement. As part of the renegotiation, if you would re-enter the agreement as president, but before that, right now, should sanctions be relieved to try to de-escalate the tensions? Um, well, right now, I think that if I were to go back in it, there's things you'd like to change with some of the sunset time periods and things like that. Um, but I don't think you want to take the sanctions that are in place on uh, the, uh, that we had in place already on missiles and things like that. But what I do think that we need to do um, is to look at how uh, we can de-escalate things diplomatically. And I'm not, because what I'm talking about here are some of the other sanctions that we've had in place for a long time, which supplemented that agreement because it didn't get at, of course, their other terrorist activity. Speaking of diplomacy, as president, would you try to directly negotiate with the Iranian leadership? I think it depends on the circumstances. Uh, we are, um, of course, better when we work with our allies. We're stronger when we work with our allies, which is something that this president doesn't seem to get. Um, and he sort of has this go-it-alone attitude, which in my mind has not enhanced our security uh, internationally or certainly not enhanced our reputation internationally and what we need when we need help from people. You want to stand with your allies and show that you can do it. One 